Hey everyone, I have some really good medical news. A new study recently published in the journal The Lancet shows that rates of cervical cancer in Australia have plummeted. This huge decrease in the rate of cervical cancer is the result of several policies that have been at, that have been at work for years, and in some cases decades. Beginning in 1991, Australia instituted a new program for pap smears and made sure that women across the country had reliable, easy access to this preventative procedure. The program aimed for women to have regular pap smears every two years. Well, it was two years at first, but then in 2017, this was lowered to once every five years. And the regular nature of these pap smears was so that any potential cervical cancer could be detected early and treatment options could be explored before the cancer grew to be too large, or before it spread too far. This preventative measure by itself served to reduce the incidence of cervical cancer by 50%, which is amazing. But it gets better. In 2007, Australia began its free national HPV vaccination program. A vaccine for the human papillomavirus had recently been developed, and Australia was trying to get that vaccine to as many of its citizens as possible. Initially, the program vaccinated 12- and 13-year-old girls, but in 2013, it was expanded to include boys. The result of this pap smear program and the HPV vaccine program has led to Australia having a cervical cancer rate that's less than half of the global average. Efforts in other countries have also seen beneficial results, but not to the extent that Australia has seen them. And this kind of makes sense, as Australia is a developed, wealthy country that has the infrastructure and the resources to acquire and distribute the vaccine to all of its citizens. But many other countries are not as developed, they're not as wealthy, and they're not as safe. And so it's a lot harder to get this vaccine and this treatment out to everybody who needs it regularly and reliably. And so for these countries, the fight against cervical cancer will continue. Now, while the vaccine itself is effective against multiple strains of HPV and it's good at preventing cervical cancer, it's also good at preventing most other kinds of cancers that afflict the genitals, be they cancers of the vulva, the vagina, or the penis. But there's more. The vaccine is also good at preventing rectal cancers and even throat cancers. The cherry on top is that it's also good at preventing genital warts. Australian researchers have already noticed that the incidence rate of genital warts has been rapidly dropping, too. Ian Fraser is a professor at the University of Queensland in Brisbane and co-inventor of the technology that's involved in the HPV vaccine. He said, quote, Because this human papillomavirus only infects humans and the vaccine program prevents the spread of the virus, eventually we'll get rid of it, like we did with smallpox. It's not going to happen in my lifetime, but it could happen in the lifetime of my kids, if they go about it the right way." Unquote. The study suggests that if current trends continue, cervical cancer could be completely eradicated in Australia by 2066. That's excellent news.